Hello, my name is Fist. Welcome to my Mountain Blade Warband Blood and Steel Let's Play Adventure. I'm playing the Blood and Steel mod. Uh, it's considerably different than the uh, vanilla game. Uh, there are firearms. They're slow, but they're powerful. I won't be using them, but my army will. Um, armies get much bigger much faster, which is, which is nice, um, because there's more action early in the game. Uh, you can start conquests a little earlier. Uh, you can capture more troop. I mean, you can capture more prisoners, uh, and so you can make money faster. Uh, but you also spend money faster because your army is considerably bigger. Um, I'll just go ahead and start so that you you guys can see. Uh, the only the only choice I've made so far is to choose male character. Um, my conductor is a, a knight, basically. I'm not going to be a knight uh, or a merchant or a barbarian. I'm just going to be a mercenary archer. Uh, the age of four, uh, you can read this if you want to eat your paws. Uh, I don't want to be crying for mommy, so I'll be normal. Um, I'll explain these briefly. Female mercenaries, uh, it just allows you to recruit female mercenaries in the end. There's several different varieties, and they're pretty cool. Uh, item sorting is kind of annoying, but it, a lot, part of the mod allows me to, uh, sell my prisoners to tavern keeper, which is nice. The other part of the mod sorts my inventory for me, which uh, is not so nice. It, it's kind of cool. Um, you know, they, they put some thought into how it would be sorted, but I like to put things in certain places so I don't accidentally sell them, and sometimes I do with this on. Uh, realistic weather, we're going to turn off just to uh, try to avoid any lag that we can. Realistic AI tactics is very cool. Um, the AI, AI will line up and advance on you in orderly fashion instead of uh, just charging. In some cases, uh, you know, generally your your garden variety bandits will just charge you. But it adds uh, some dimension to the game. Realistic casualties is a pain in the ass, but it's more realistic, so we'll leave it on. Realistic fatigue is also a pain in the ass, but it's more realistic, so we'll leave it on. Heroic health is... Uh, the opposite of a pain in the ass. It would be nice to have, but we're going to leave it off, just to be fair. Uh, and final order charge is, uh, in the event of my death, my final order is charge. And uh, the reason I, I put it on charge is in case I'm fighting archers, so my troops will run out and kill them. Uh, if you get killed early in a battle and you're fighting infantry, generally the charge is, is a bad order because your troops will scatter and they'll all get killed. But if you get killed early in a battle, you're probably screwed. Anyway. So... That's, um, yeah, let's begin my adventure and ride to my destiny. I'm going to allow to quit without saving, just for Let's Play purposes. It'll be Lord Fist. I need 15 strength, because there's some armor I want to. It requires 15 strength, so 3 in strength, 1 in intelligence, just to get that extra skill point. Defensive tactics are important for your entire army. Toughness is important for you. As you can see, they've uh, they've gotten rid of those and have replaced it with some other stuff. Reflexes. Reflexes allows you to uh, avoid being hit entirely. But I didn't mean to put that in there. Um, defensive tactics. Three in toughness, one in reflexes, and one in prisoner management. Now, generally, that would allow you to uh, get. 10 prisoners to, you know, in the uh, vanilla version of the game, but uh, I believe it's 30 in this version, which is nice. Uh, One-handed weapons, and I'm done. <clears throat> going to randomly look for, he looks for, mm, no, he has no chance. I could fix that with the slider, but I'm too lazy. Hmm. Yes, yes, he has the thousand yard stare. PTSD in the BC. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, uh, yeah, I'll leave him just as he is. I'm going to be the Rex because I like their units. You'll see them shortly. And the initial quest is the same as vanilla, but I have troops already. And. Just tell him to follow me so I don't get out ahead. I kind of want to kill this guy myself. Hey, I shot faster than you. I don't want your quest. Get away from me. Get away from me. Oh, you can't shoot the merchant of Joe Powell. Anyway, he wants me to save his brother. Which I will do because I need money. And it will give me some. 
Yes, I'm interested. Yes, very good, very good. Okay. And uh, also, as you <laughs> you will see, see the the bandits. The, this deserters already have 43, and they are right beside me. I don't like that. I'm going to run. Probably. And see if they're running. Okay. <laughs> Usually, on that, uh, that initial quest, the bandits leave the city that you were in. But that time, all I saw was that big party of deserters. I'm going to try to avoid conflict. I'm going to run to the city and see if I can get some recruits. I'm hoping for stormtroopers and pistoleres. The stormtroopers are, are uh, spearmen, basically. Oh, God. I don't want those kind of spearmen, though. And that's way too many. Um, and the, uh, pistoleres are what it sounds like, they shoot pistols. And, uh, if you comprise your army of mainly those two things, it's pretty epic, because the stormtroopers can stop cold most cavalry charges, and the pistoleres can stop cold most... Get away from me. Get away from me. Um, uh, I think I said it backwards. The pistoleres can stop most infantry charges, and the, uh, stormtroopers can stop most cavalry charges. So it's pretty sweet. Damn it! I'm not having good luck. Not at all. I, I'm going to go ahead and get some crossbowmen. Please give me the same amount of crossbowmen. Um, just because I need more men, because inevitably one of these little groups of 40 some odd looters is going to catch me before I get my ideal army, and uh, the less skewed the odds are, in their favor, the better. Unless you're them, I guess. Okay, move my microphone. So. Sorry about that. Anyway, um, let's go up here. I still have not seen those damn. Uh, that, uh, group. Did I, did I tell him I did not want to do his uh, his mission? Is that what happened? I think I just clicked through it really fast. So. Maybe he's still in here. Oh, he wanted me to go recruit guys. That's what it is. And I already had enough. I knew something was wrong. Anyway, where is the merchant of Jalkala? Is that him? Is that the merchant? That's the merchant of Jalkala. Okay, yes, I already had five guys. For some reason, I was skipping this step in my head. I'm making a fool of myself on YouTube. But, you know, that's basically what Let's Plays are about, right? Making a fool of yourself on YouTube. They're in there, but I can't target. There. Hopefully they're not very fast, because I didn't get any pathfinding. I've been looking for you. Bring any silver? No, I bought steel. <laughs> Twelve against four, and I'm all archers. You know what? I'm, I'm feeling vindictive after my little mistakes. So what I'm going to do? Let's find a little ridge like this one, and I have all range uh, range units. I want to tell them all to hold this position. I'm going to watch these four guys as they come in and <laughs> try to assault. Yeah, I can't even see them. Okay, yes. Attack them. You bastards. Oh my god, I hit one. Personally. I did not expect that. If you watch, you'll see sometimes the arrows just fly off to the left or right. Which is kind of annoying because it's supposed to have 400 and some odd archery. I don't think you guys are going to make it. It's going to say when I'm just unconscious, but they're all dead. We know. We know. We filled them full of arrows. They're like pin cushions or Pokemons. Or some other spiny object. I right, spare me, spare my life. I'll give you my soul. I'll take your soul. Sell it to the highest bidder. Um, okay. I'll take him anyway. D wow, those aren't bad. 
I just really love it. See, things are worth a lot more in this game. I mean, you, you obviously can't sell them for as much as, as you would buy them for, but just you know, simple items are worth more in general. Okay. I should probably buy some food if I'm kind of going running around. And they told me where his brother is, and uh, he's in a bandit camp, so. Had 15. Oh god, it's so expensive. 500. Okay. Um. Ah, it's right there. Darn. What's up? Well, you know what? I'm going here first. If I can avoid being jumped by uh, scum and so forth, looters. More crossbow. I really, really don't need crossbow. I'm really not sure I would get the word off the slayers. But beggars can't be choosers. I'm pretty sure I'll get most of these men killed off relatively soon anyway. But uh let's close in on fifteen minutes. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run up here and uh get right next to the kidnappers hideout. And we're gonna call that episode one and then I will start episode two. Stormtroops, thank you very much. Alright. So, uh, everybody, remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in episode 2.